My name is Paula. For so many years, I, I was convinced that, that God was mad at me, like that I had done that I had done things wrong, and He just was waiting to like He remembered everything I ever did wrong, and He was like making a list, and I had to answer for every single thing. But then, 17 years ago, one day I was at work, and this woman came in, and I used to cut hair. It's not that she was traveling with a music ministry from New York City. She tells me God loves me. And I said, are, are, me, are you sure? I've done things, like I live with my boyfriend. And she said, no, he, he loves you, he's crazy about you. And he, he's not mad at you, he has a plan for your life. That, that was the first time that I ever heard that God wasn't mad at me. I, I honestly believe that he was like standing there with a clipboard with a list of everything that I'd ever done wrong and I had to answer for all of that. And what she was telling me is that that's not God at all. Like he knows that we make mistakes, but all those mistakes were paid for by the work that Jesus did on the cross. I don't have to carry that guilt, that's not mine. Jesus died and took that punishment that, that I deserved. So I finished her haircut and I'm cashing around. And then she said, Paula, before I leave today, do you want to make Jesus Lord of your life? And I said, well, I don't know exactly what that means, but I think I have to, because I feel like, I feel like God has been really trying to get my attention. We went in the back, in the back hallway of the gallery mall, and I prayed to God, I'm, I'm sorry for everything I did. I received what Jesus did on the cross. I received your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus rose from the dead and paid the price for my sin, and I have forgiveness and eternal life because of what he did and I give my life to you and now everything is different. So a week later I moved out of that guy's apartment and I got my own place and you know I made a bunch of changes. I had to walk away from all of my friends. My life was going towards God and their life was just going in a, in a different direction and that, that wasn't me anymore. We went to this Benny Hinn crusade. We were there and we ran into my friend Alex and he's like, oh, you know, how you doing? He's like, oh, you gotta come to my church. So that Sunday, I did go to his church, this church, Resurrection Life. Since then, I've had a lot of opportunities to talk to a lot of my friends about God and what he's done in my life. My sister and her boyfriend and my niece and nephew, they come to this church now. About six years ago, I graduated from college with a bachelor's degree, that's awesome. I never thought I could do that. And I've gone on a bunch of mission trips with, with our church. We went to LA, we went to Costa Rica, and the Dominican Republic. If you would have told me 17 years ago that I was gonna be a missionary, I would have thought you're crazy. I've been a youth leader for years now. The pivotal scripture for me was, he who loses his life for my sake shall truly find it. God's plan for my life is better than anything I could have ever dreamed up. What I thought was my life before Christ, that's not who I was. But God knows who, he knows who I am. It's been incredible. My name is Paula. My name is Paula, and his story changed mine.